Hello learners, today we are going to study about what is recombinant DNA. Recombinant word comes from the word recombine which means to combine again into something new. It means that you are making something new by combining different things. So the recombinant DNA is actually a DNA molecule which is formed artificially by combining two DNA molecules which are obtained from two different species okay so what you are doing that you have taken two DNA molecules for example this is one DNA molecule and this is another DNA molecule this DNA molecule comes from one species and this comes from another species and then you are going to combine these two molecules so a new molecule of DNA that you are going to get will be known as recombinant DNA okay the recombinant DNAs they are made in the laboratory during the recombinant DNA technology here we can see we have a E. coli cell E. coli is a bacteria and here we have a human cell in the E. coli we have this circular DNA which is known as plasmid while in the human we have this DNA which is present inside the nucleus so E. coli is one species and human cell is another species okay what we are going to do we are going to take their DNA in case of E. coli we are going to separate the plasmid in case of human we are going to get our particular gene which we wanted to study because in human there are so many genes but we want only one gene for example gene X is isolated after that you are going to use endonucleases or the restriction enzymes to cut these plasmid and DNA and we have the sticky ends by using these sticky ends we are going to combine plasmid and DNA together and then DNA ligase is going to seal these part here so the DNA ligase is actually acting like a glue which is going to help in combining these two DNA molecules together so here we can see we have this part plasmid and this part human gene as they are two different DNA molecules coming from two different species so this DNA is known as recombinant DNA what are the benefits of recombinant DNA why we need to make it why we need to study it the recombinant DNA they are very beneficial if you want to isolate and study a particular gene for example I wanted to study gene X and there are a B C D E F so many genes I cannot study that X gene in a human cell so what I am going to do that I am going to separate this gene X and then by making a recombinant DNA I can easily study it the recombinant DNA will help us to obtain large amount of proteins the proteins which are the product of the gene if I'm going to insert this into some host or some bacterial cell this gene X is going to express into a protein and then I can get large amount of that proteins moreover to synthesize new genes for example I want to make new genes so what I can do I can separate a gene X and then I can separate a gene Y for example this plasmid is a gene Y so by combining that I have gotten a X Y recombinant DNA so this is how I create new genes moreover to study the effects of mutation we can also make recombinant DNA for example I make some changes in my gene X and then insert it into the plasmid and then study its protein what kind of protein it is making so this is how I can study the mutations in the gene by the help of recombinant DNA so that was our lesson on what is recombinant DNA if you have any question related to it you can ask me in the comment section I will see you in the next video